Hi, in this video I will show the beginning Java student how to use the BlueJ IDE for the first time and how to grab user inputs from the keyboard. Let's get started. First, open BlueJ and select Project New Project from the menu bar and enter the name of your coding project. Next, click on the New Class button and name your class. It's a good idea to follow the Java naming conventions for classes. Double-click the newly created User Input Class icon and edit the default code. Modify the header with your information. Delete the instant variable the constructor, and the method examples. At this level, we don't need to worry about these just yet. Next, create the ubiquitous hello world method like so. Notice I've made this a public method, not a private one. Compile the code and you'll see the hashes on the class icon disappear. If we try to execute the code by right-clicking on the class icon, notice we cannot see the hello world method. We can execute the method, however, in two ways. One, simply add the keyword static to the method declaration like so. Now, when you compile the code and then right-click on the class icon, you can select the Hello World method, which opens the output window and displays our message. You see, Java is built on the principle of objects, which is why it is known as Object-Oriented Programming, or OOP. Without the static keyword, the hello world method can only be called by object instances of the class. However, with the static keyword, we can call the method simply by calling the method's name. The second way to call the hello world method is with the more common use of the main method. In CodeHS, the run method was magically created with each new program. In real Java code, we will use the main method which is entered exactly like so. Public, static, void, main, open parenthesis, string with a capital S, square bracket, close square bracket, ARGS, close parenthesis. And don't forget the curly braces. We can now call the method within the code as we are accustomed. Run the code by compiling it, right-clicking on the class icon, and selecting the main method. Notice it is here in the list and we can run it directly because of the static keyword. In the window that pops up, press the OK button and the code will be executed. You can clear the terminal window and run it again if you want. You are now ready to write code using the BlueJ IDE. In the next part of this video, I will show you how to grab user inputs from the keyboard. CodeHS made it simple to get user input from the keyboard. In the real world, it's a bit more complicated, but it's not difficult. First, we must import the so-called scanner class into our program. To do so, enter the following immediately below the header. Import space java.util.scanner and then end with a semicolon as usual. Everything is lowercase except for the S in scanner, which is capitalized. This line imports the libraries needed to grab keyboard inputs. Next, create a new method called getUserData, or simply enter code into the main method. To read from the keyboard, we must make a scanner object, like so. Scanner, which is capitalized with an S, space, myobj, equals, new, scanner, capitalized S, parentheses, System, again capitalized S, dot I N, close parentheses, 
and semicolon. You can change the name of the object from my OBJ to whatever you want, but everything else must remain as is. Let's now ask the user to input their name. We'll do so using the next line command, which is a method in the scanner class. Here's how. First, ask the user to input their name like so. Next, create a new variable to hold the user's information. Because we expect the user to enter their name, we should declare this variable with the string data type. Next, define it with the myobj.nextline command. The thing that is different here is we must now include the object name to call the method. You will learn more about objects in the next unit. This code only grabs the information from the keyboard. It doesn't do anything with it. Let's change that by echoing the information to the screen like so. Let's see if it works. First, compile the code and clear the terminal window. Next, run the method by right-clicking on the class icon and selecting the Get User Data method. In the text box at the bottom of the terminal window, enter your name and hit Enter. Whatever text you entered should appear on the screen twice. We can also grab other data types from the user. These include integers, doubles, and booleans, to name a few. For integers, use the next int method. For doubles, use the next double method. And as you might imagine, for Boolean data, use next Boolean. Don't forget to echo the inputs to the screen. Finally, run the code to test your work. Before ending this video, let me remind you that you can call the getUserData method directly from the main method, simply by calling it from there. Then, when you run main, it will call the getUserData through code. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.